you hearing that out there? All right. Is there any monitor av um, available here on stage? A little bit more, please. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. How are you guys doing out there? It is great to be back with you here at the ODPC Fun Fest. And even though I'm having an amazing time, and I'll tell you what, you know, it's, it's not raining. I mean, I lied. It's raining from our pores. But it's great being here with you. And I'm gonna, even though I'm having a great time, I still have a bit of the blues. So I'm going to share some blues here with you. This is a brand new tune. This is called Sad Blues in the Mississippi Delta. North Mississippi, Hill Country style. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We're checking to see what's going on with the sound here real briefly. Hang on just a moment. We're going to go ahead and unplug and see something here. Let me try something here. Oh, wow. That battery is red hot. That's not good. Somebody's trying to start a fire. Let me go ahead and switch dulcimers. Could you guys hear that at all? It was like through the microphone, right? Man, that was a real down-home dirty blues thing. All right, I'm going to switch dulcimers here real quick. I think that should cool down before I put anything else into it. Here we go. Besides, my plan was actually to go to this dulcimer, so no problem. I'm good. Thank you, man. Mr. Steven Seifert, ladies and gentlemen. Always there for a friend. Okay, can you guys hear that? All right. I'm gonna tell you a true story about how I ended up as an answer on Jeopardy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a part in it for you. I want you to sing at one point when I kind of look at you, Northwest, like, like the Canadian Mounties. We're close enough. You guys can muster that, right? Just go, Northwest. God, that is good. Here we go. The song about that guy from Nova Scotia How United Airlines busted his guitar Tom Paxton hit that barrier With Republic as a carrier And he wrote a tune to serve as a memoir My heart goes out to both these gents And their respective incidents And with these words I'm joining the protest for I had just one expenditure in the shape of a mountain dulcimer And that instrument got splintered by Northwest Here we go! Northwest Where the baggage handlers roam Northwest You'll be taking pieces home Northwest You've killed many guitars, I'm sure Add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer Add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer True story. He checked that piece, no, I said, it fits right in the overhead, as easy as a cord fits in a plug. But in Motor City, my connection had the bins all sliced into little sections. The whole plane looked just like a Volkswagen bug. Well, I've had my share of hard bumpers, find these puddle jumpers, my dulcimer in the belly. I said a prayer as we lifted up into the air With Fort Wayne as my next stop in the east The two girls on the ground crew seemed afraid And they watched me from afar Grabbing the last bag off the cart If I had looked inside, they would have paid Three hours later I saw the mess And shouted curses to you Delta Frontier, Anertran, Continental, PSA, JetBlue, U.S. Airways, Elysian Air, Southwest Compass, Martin Air, Virgin Atlantic, yeah, I'm talking to you, and all you other commercial flights, your passengers have all got rights to baggage that is never treated wrong, and if you slip, then so will we, along comes Dave or Tom or me, to tell the world that you suck in a song. Northwest, where the 
bag in Chandler's home, north of west. You'll be taking pieces home, north of west. You killed me guitars, I'm sure. Add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer. Add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer. Oh, add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer. Add to that one mangled mountain dulcimer. Thank you very much. True story. So what happened basically was, uh, you know, Dave Carroll and the Sons of Maxwell had this hit song vi that went viral called uh, United Breaks Guitar. It's based on when United Airlines broke his axe when the band was traveling. So this song went viral and the video went viral on YouTube. Million hits in a couple of days. And I had just come back from having this experience with Northwest and I figured I would sort of coast on the coattails of that momentum. So I wrote this tune real quick and made a lyric video and uh, Steve Ash, the late great Steve Ash, um, putting my rig back together again and made a, a, and wrote the song and put it on YouTube. And then I went to like every article that was talking about this story and the fact that United actually called David and said we're so sorry and he made amends. And I got in there and said that's right United breaks guitars and Northwest breaks dulcimers with a link to the video and the song. I posted the video on Wednesday night. Thursday morning, Northwest Airlines calls me and goes, what do you want? <laughs> so long story short, uh, later on, many years uh, on Jeopardy, when IBM Supercomputer Watson was uh, uh, battling those two guys, one of, the, um, one of the answers was something about this United Airlines, blah, 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 friendly skies breaks guitars, and so the question, what is da-da-da? On the 7% level, Watson chose Futch. <laughs> and my name shows up on Jeopardy, and my telephone goes ballistic. <laughs> True story, so if I'm, not, if I'm not famous for anything else, I was on Jeopardy, kinda. <laughs> so bizarre. All right. Um, I'm going to play you a little fiddle tune here, and, uh, and I'm going to have uh, our first ensemble come on up, because I'm dying to uh, share with you what we've been working on. Uh, I'd like to mention that I also am playing full craft instruments up here on stage. Everything I'm playing up here is a full craft instrument, and I've been playing them uh, since uh, 1994, and I love their mu uh, musical instruments, and I love the family, and everything that uh, Richard Ash and David Marks, and all the people who've been involved, the folk roots, and you know, the Howard Rugg and the Capitoris Dulcimer. It's all fascinating to be a part of this legacy, you know. Um, and so I'm gonna play an old fiddle tune uh, medley here of A-tunes. I'm gonna play uh, Texas, uh, originally known as Newcastle, which is a crooked tune. Uh, then I'll do Sandy Boys, and then I'll do some uh, Hangman's Reel for you. French Canadian Reel, a little trilogy of A tunes here on the Mountain Dulcimer. Not like that, though. I kid you not, it's, um, I think, Butch, you're right, the humidity is causing some weird stuff to go on. Okay, sit, stay, good capo. I take coaching from Steven Seifert when it comes to dealing with things in the middle of sets. I'm doing a couple of D-tunes, how's that? <laughs> oh, I saw, my, uh, my, my leather um, just fell out. That's what was going on, okay. <laughs>
Come on up, guys, for the first set. Thank you very much. So I want to make sure I shine a spotlight on each of these guys. First coming up, we have the mom family. David on mandolin. Liesel on fiddle. Or should I say violin? Violin. Cherise, the mom mom. And Jeffrey, the mom family right over here. On this side, we have the Kaiser family. We have Kelly on fiddle. Greg on banjo. Father Ken on guitar. And Lynn, the mother, on the bass. And then Ellen. <laughs> Members of the Squirrel's Nest, you guys know them and love them over there. And um, also with us, we have Squirrel Paula Connell on the hammer dulcimer. So um, we're going to do a, a tune that I wrote a couple of years ago uh, called Walking Off the Eggnog. <laughs> and some of you, we, uh, I taught it uh, this week. And uh, basically, it's inspired by this great recipe that Alton Brown has. You guys love Alton Brown, right? right? So he's got this recipe for aged eggnog, and it's really good. But what really captivated with me is that it's aged. That means you can put it in the refrigerator and let it sit there and get better and better and better, like an aged steak. So I've had them as long as a year. I know that sounds dangerous, but it is so good. So anyway, if you would like the recipe, email me, or you just look up Alton Brown's Aged Eggnog. But this song was inspired by that eggnog, hence the title, Walking Off the Eggnog, because it has three cups of booze per two liter batch. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> this is walking off the eggnog.
much. All right, now please welcome to the stage. We've got some more special guests here. From Mike Squared, we got Michael Up on the Hurdy Gurdy. And Michael Human on the uh, Hammer Dulcimer. From Butch Ross. <laughs> we have Butch Ross on the guitar. Of John and Karen Keene, we have Mr. John Keene on Cajon. Yeah. We also have Colin Beasley up here on the conga. And I believe we have everybody up here now. Good, good, good. And also, this is quite a monumental task, so I want to thank our stage crew, our sound crew up here, moving microphones, getting people in position. They're working hard all week long to keep these shows running smoothly. Also, thank uh, Andy Cox running our sound back there, making it all happen in the front of the house. It wouldn't be a show without him, but without them, you'd be hearing a lot of it. So that's why we do that. This is a brand new song that I wrote um, about a month ago, and uh, I'm really happy Okay, there it is, all right. I, I thought Andy had pushed the suck button for a second. Every panel, you guys don't know that, every panel has a suck button on it, anyway. Um, I'm very heartened by the uh, response to this tune. I wrote it because there's so much negativity going on right now. There's so much stuff in the media. We're bombarded in, uh, from all directions by all this stuff. And I think it's so much better when we can just turn it off, get away from it. Because you, truly, what you don't know is not going to hurt you. <laughs> you know? Ignorance is bliss. It's such a nice thing not to worry about any of that stuff. So this song is about sort of turning it off, and it's called Undertow.
work for these guys, man. Big Fox, everyone. Hey, 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 wait, we're, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, are we? Do we need one more song out of this guy? One more? Can we get one more out of Bing? One more? All right, let's do yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. What I want to do is I want to see if there's any of the performers who were on this evening who are nearby. I know you guys are over there. Some of you are selling CDs and stuff. If you want to, if you can, if you have your instruments, come up here and, and play uh, Old Joe Clark with us. We would love to have you come up and play Old Joe Clark with us. If you were on the concert tonight, come on up. We, I'll, I'll pause. There was one thing I want to do. I had a request to play some Native American flute. Would you guys like to hear that? Yeah. All right. If anybody f who was playing tonight, we would love to have you come on up here. Yes, we got. We have a. We have an acceptance. That's fabulous. Come on up. Yes, come on up, guys. And we'll go out. We'll go out with a nice old time tune and uh, get everybody prepped to go out and jam. Hope to see you guys out there making a lot of music. And thanks again to all of you guys for coming out, uh, all the students. Annette Lindsay said it so well earlier. It's so amazing what you guys uh, invest into trying to be better at your various skills and your various instruments. You put a lot of time into it and you travel many, many miles and you endure swampy heat <laughs> to, uh, to learn music and share music with others. And, uh, and I think that's absolutely fabulous. So please, please recognize yourselves and give yourselves a big round of applause for the effort that you make. And know that it's completely worth it. It's a beautiful, beautiful life. I'll play a little, uh, little quick spirit song for you, then we'll play old Joe Clark. Thank you guys so much for your patience and dealing with all the technical craziness and stuff like that. I need a new capo. <laughs> Thank you all very much. God bless you. Well, old Joe Clark.
gonna send you on with this. Now's the time to say goodbye to all our company. See you at the jam. Thank you so much to everyone who, yes, 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 yes. Thanks to everyone.